If Ukraine doesn't get its lands back after US and UK aid, it will have to negotiate with Putin. Ukraine will receive more than half a billion dollars in new British military aid that is aimed at helping Kyiv push back the Russian invasion on land and sea, according to UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. The British package comes on the heels of the US House of Representatives finally passing a $60 billion military aid bill after months of wrangling. With the boost in Western support for Kyiv's forces, Ukraine's military command needs to start seriously thinking about the counter-offensive and recapturing their land, Ukraine analyst Viktor Kovalenko told Newsweek. Sunak's office said on Tuesday that the latest funding will be used to rapidly deliver ammunition, air defence, drones and engineering support. The drones will be procured in the UK and the funds will support a scaling up in domestic defence supply chains, Sunak's office said, with the British Ministry of Defence sending our largest ever single package of equipment from the UK. The package contains 60 boats, including offshore raiding craft, rigid raiding craft, dive boats, maritime guns, over 1,600 strike and air defence missiles, storm shadow long-range precision guided missiles, 160 protected mobility Husky vehicles, 162 armoured vehicles, 78 all-terrain vehicles, 4 million rounds of ammunition. The Storm Shadow long-range precision guided missiles have already proven effective in striking Russia's Black Sea fleet. Crucially, the package will include 4 million rounds of small arms ammunition, which has been sorely needed by Ukraine's forces. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that following the House's passing of US aid, everything has been decided in the ATA-CMS negotiations for Ukraine, referring to the US Army tactical missile system, which can strike targets up to about 186 miles away. Kovalenko, a Ukrainian combat veteran from 2014 to 2015, said that despite the Western support, time is definitely on Russia's side to cut the Donbass and they have manpower for that. With the US aid package, the Ukrainian military command needs to start seriously thinking about the counter-offensive and recapturing their land, he said. If Kyiv won't be able to do that this year or gain back just a few villages, President Zelensky will have to go to the negotiating table with Putin to save Ukraine as a state, at least in its existing shape, Kovalenko said. The Israeli Air Force launched rocket attacks on the positions of the terrorist organization Hezbollah in the south of Lebanon. According to information, dozens of objects were targeted at the same time. These are the main targets in Ada Ash Shab, Ramiai, and Jebel Balat. Before this, the Lebanese group Hezbollah said it launched drone attacks on Israeli bases north of the city of Acre in retaliation for the killing of one of its fighters, marking the deepest attack into Israeli territory since the Gaza War began. Hezbollah launched a combined air attack using decoy and explosive drones that targeted two Israeli bases halfway between Acre and Nahariya, it said in a statement. The Israeli military said it had no knowledge of any of its facilities being hit by Hezbollah, but had said earlier that it intercepted two aerial targets off Israel's northern coast. In retaliation, the Israeli military targeted areas in Ada Ash Shab, Blida, and near Markaba in southern Lebanon with airstrikes. Both sides have exchanged missile fire and airstrikes regularly since the conflict in Gaza began last October, carefully avoiding escalation to full-scale war. However, ongoing strikes have heightened concerns that a mishap or miscalculation could quickly intensify the conflict, potentially drawing in regional and global powers, including the United States.
ഇടം നിക്കേ